Taurus singles. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your reading. Yeah, we are going to get into a love reading for you. Say hi to Lester. <laughs> we're going to get into a love reading for you. Um, we're going to see what's going on in your love life. Yeah, get you some messages to help you succeed in love, to help you heal in love. Yes, this is not sens sensationalism, guys. We're here. We're here to talk about the real shit here on Divine Conversations, all right? So we're going to get into it um, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, all right? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also, this is also a timeless reading coming through in September 2022, but this can resonate for you at any moment. And also, this absolutely could resonate for a cross watcher, okay? Absolutely. So if you are a cross watcher, cross uh, watching for a Taurus and this resonates for you, just take it as it resonates. Place this into your life as it fits naturally. Please do not try and force anything that doesn't fit your narrative to fit because then that's just going to make things confusing for you. Yes? Excellent. What's going on for Taurus singles, please? Oh, also, um, you could find yourself in a situationship type thing and this may still resonate for you. Yes? All right, Taurus. First card you have is flirt. You are absolutely being encouraged to flirt right now. Actually, to be honest with you, Taurus singles, um, <laughs> even my, sing my, my situationship, uh, Taurus, yeah? Um, you are, I feel like, I feel like your Venusian aspects right now are very highlighted. I feel like your energy is high, your vibe is high, you're feeling good, you're looking good. Um, I feel like this is really, you are really being encouraged to get out there and flirt, especially for some of my singles that are in some sort of situationship that has been driving you mad. You don't know where things are going. You don't know how to proceed. Um, yeah, you don't know how to proceed. Uh, I encourage you to allow yourself to get out there and meet new people, try new things. Um, as, a, um, <clears throat> as a fixed sign, um, you, uh, fixed signs sometimes have a tendency to get caught in a rut. Um, for you though, Taurus, it's more of a comfort zone. Um, and I really be feel like you're being encouraged to step out of your comfort zone. You have flirt and then you also have religious factors. So this literally could be some sort of religious factors that have been influencing you to stay um, in a bubble is what I just heard. Um, but also for some of and, and with that said, you're encouraged to allow yourself to be free a little bit, step out of your comfort zone, get out there and meet new people, try new things. Just go have experiences, Taurus. It doesn't have to be a thing where it really doesn't have to be a thing where you are getting out there with incur or with um specific intentions of meeting someone although that's not the worst thing in the world um but just go out and have fun allow yourself to to try new things is what i keep hearing allow yourself to get out there and just show the world who you are because i really feel like your beauty your energy your your being is really highlighted right now i'm also hearing your sense of self is really highlighted right now so in terms of some of you that may have been in some sort of like comfort zone or a bubble or have been in like a cocoon lately i feel like you have done a lot of healing in that um, there has been a lot of reconciling I'm hearing that you've been doing with yourself, a lot of coming to terms with who you are, your beauty, your intrinsic beauty, um, and you're really being encouraged at this time to allow yourself to allow the world to see that, okay? And then also with this religious factors energy, yes, there could be some of you that have been... Um, stuck in a rut because of religious factors and you it feels like for some of you this is actually a situation in which your religious upbringing has ultimately been detrimental to you um but at this point in your life maybe especially at, during this time of having gone through some sort of healing process i feel like now you're curious or now you are you finally reached a breaking point i'm hearing you're fed up some of you whomever this resonates for you're fed up with the restrictions that have been put upon you you're starting to see past them you're under you're starting to understand um understand that that a, some of the dogma really is not for you and you're wanting to try new things so you're encouraged to, to get out there for others of you this religious factors energy has to do with your spiritual um with spiritual uh enlightenment um you've been some of you may have stepped out of the realm of religion and into more of a spiritual mindset 
Um, and with that, actually, Taurus, with that comes a level of sexuality that is now being, that is, uh, I'm hearing that is acceptable. Um, when it comes to spiritual progress and spiritual growth, many of us start to really start, uh, explore more of our sexuality and are um, encouraged really to express that obviously in healthy ways. Because spirit, uh, sexuality, your innate um, personal uh, form of sexuality or sexual expression is absolutely part of your spiritual growth and your spiritual nature, okay? So at this point, I feel like um, it is necessary for you to start exploring that more. Obviously within healthy ways, you know, as healthy as it can be, um, even as healthy as it can be for you in the moment, giving what it is you are aware of or what it is you know. Um, some of you are absolutely encouraged to do some research and find some individuals that really speak to the, the, the sexual side of spiritual growth, spiritual reality. <laughs> as I'm talking through that, some of you are getting kind of squeamish. It's okay, don't worry about it. You'll grow into it. But, uh, but um, either way, the next step for you, Taurus, is to really start to get out there and allow your sexual nature to flow but also just get out there and flirt it's time to start meeting new people let's see what else is coming out for you for taurus singles sun moon rising and venus we have self-indulgence focus on self self-work time to heal shadow work self-appreciation so there's that energy um, of having been in some sort of cocoon in some sort of healing process again having really done a lot of shadow shadow work taken a lot of time to heal um focusing on your self-worth um and and now the next and so focusing on your self-worth taurus really does feel like you have been building up your sense of self-worth and understanding especially for those of you that were dealing with some sort of religious stuff understanding that um, you are worthy of love and respect and uh, connection and it may have been that as you've been cultivating this sense of self-worth and as you've been really working on healing and, and working through a lot of your shadow aspects maybe some of you have are even coming out of a dark night of the soul energy you're starting to understand that some especially for my my ex-religious people some of you are starting to understand that you are worthy of having a, a loving relationship but some of the ideals some of the stipulations that have been put upon you in those previous environments were not conducive to you being able to find that loving relationship so again you are absolutely encouraged to get out there and flirt okay um also self-appreciation could <laughs> could hey it could be masturbation it could be um uh, allowing yourself to get out there and and express your sexuality okay you have photograph looking at photos missing you nostalgia and make new memories again this is um definitely in line with the flirt energy you are encouraged to um to yep okay look at this taurus Look at this, Taurus. This is wonderful. You are really encouraged to get out there and make new memories. Again, as a fixed sign, but um, as a fixed sign, you know, nostalgia and the past and keeping up traditions from the past um, is probably um, something that's a heavy pull for you, something that you easily... Um, default into i want to say but also as a tauren nostalgia it may be a really strong thing for you something that you really i'm hearing have allowed yourself to be caught up in a lot um but you are really encouraged to step out of the past step out of the nostalgia and really start to make new memories and then finally you have cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head but there you go there's that outdated thinking and the conditioning there that we were talking about it doesn't have really have to be um religious elements if that resonates for you then take it but ultimately the religious factors here i feel like overall really speaks to um spiritual expansion okay and when and it's a very a common misconception that when you're spiritual you're not out there having fun you're not out there meeting new people trying new things expressing your sexuality that's not it okay all of this is actually a part of your spiritual expression your spiritual expansion your spiritual growth 
all right so you're really encouraged to step out of um, that outdated thinking and conditioning and really start to make new memories go out there and flirt Taurus and then the last thing that I was laughing at is at the bottom of the deck here you have not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call or person boundaries or still angry but I feel like this is you um, expressing yourself towards the past past elements past things that have held you back that have kept you from experiencing um, a more loving nature or more love in your life you're at this point you're just like look I'm not no I'm not doing that anymore it's time for me to expand it's time for me to grow it's time for me to go out there and have a good time and have all these things that I'm seeing all my friends and all that experiencing like I want some of that too okay and you deserve to have a Taurus and it definitely may be that sense of self-worth that you have been developing over this time that you've been healing that has gotten you gotten you to the point where it's like no nah, I'm gonna go out there and have fun now yeah excellent Taurus I'm loving this for you oh cat hair okay let's get into some tarot for you here yes for my Taurans my Taurus singles Sun Moon Rising and Venus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Taurus. What messages do we have for Taurus singles at this time? What's going on for Taurus singles in their love lives, please? Spirit, last shuffle. All right. All right. For Taurus. The world is their first card. Excellent. Excellent, Taurus. The Nine of Cups. Yes, Taurus. One last card at least. Ooh. Okay, the Two of Swords. Anything else? And then the Two of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like there's still a bit of hesitance here. Overall energy is the High Priestess. This really feels like, Taurus, the next step for you in terms of spiritual expansion, spiritual awareness, and whatnot, whatever, is to get out there and explore your, express, ex, express and explore your sexuality. Or at least allow yourself to get out there and try new things, meet new people, okay? There's a very spiritual aspect to this for you. But what you have here is the world, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So um, first and foremost, the world to the Nine of Cups here definitely speaks to you closing out a previous cycle and stepping out into the next one. And that next one is all about what truly makes you happy. Okay, the Nine of Cups would absolutely be that energy of what your wishes and dreams are. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card, but it's more on... Um, it's more on a mundane, three-dimensional physical level, but also the Nine of Cups can represent a comfort zone type of energy, okay? So it's really, you are really being encouraged at this time to step out of your comfort zone. But here's this issue. You have the Two of Swords, and you also have the Two of Pentacles. And I feel like this is you starting to, I, I wanna say starting to peek out of your cave. You've been in a, you've been in a comfort zone energy. You've been in a bubble. You've been in a, um, a moment where, a moment where you have kind of been in denial of sources, direction, or sources, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Encouragement for you to kind of step out there. And that's also what the, the High Priestess may be speaking to. The High Priestess does speak of spirituality, um, but also the High Priestess would represent your intuition, guidance from your higher self, your your ancestors, your way showers, your spirit guides, your, your angels, the archangels, something like that. OK, um, but the thing about it is it's it, 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 you're kind of stepping out into the unknown, which for uh, for a fixed sign is not the most comfortable thing. I understand that, especially for an earth sign, um, being very sure of yourself, being very sure of your circumstances, what not, whatever is something that you that is ideal for you. But again, spirit is saying that is some that's like your comfort zone also. Um, and what I'm getting with this two of swords, two of pentacles, Taurus, is that you're like, you're finally starting to peek out of the cave. So you're finally starting to come out of this Two of Swords energy and you're getting into a Two of Pentacles energy. And, and the Two of Pentacles is all about weighing things, balancing situations, okay? Um, 
it could be going back and forth about something indecisive energy. I do feel like there's a sense, there's a bit of indecisiveness here for you. And I feel like the two things, the, the, the two pentacles that you would be weighing here would be the past circumstances versus the new circumstances or what could be ahead of you if you were just to try and access these things. If you were to, I'm also hearing, believe in yourself and allow yourself to explore the new, explore the unknown, to leave the past behind and go in the new direction. Okay, I want to clarify these. We're going to start with the Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords for Taurus, please. What's this Two of Swords energy? Denial, rejection, staying in this comfort zone energy. I do feel like that's the past for you, though. I feel like that's really what you're starting to come out of. Yeah, the Two of Pent. I'm sorry. The Two of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so definitely, I keep hearing a comfort zone energy. Um, not wanting to let go of the past. But the four of, and the four of pentacles can be a type of hoarding energy, um, preservation. Um, it, when the four of pentacles is positive, it's an energy of, you know, keeping a hold of your finances, keeping a, a nest egg, uh, maintaining your foundation. But also the four of pentacles can be kind of an energy that would lead to FOMO. I am getting a bit of FOMO, uh, fear of missing out from the four of pentacles, but actually that's that would be an energy of you that would uh, any sort of FOMO or fear of missing out that you're feeling here would be an energy that's leading you out of this four of pentacles energy. The four of pentacles can be hoarding. OK, could be needlessly holding on to something or needlessly preserving something for fear of not being able to get more or for fear of losing something. Fear. OK, but uh, but in this energy. This, I mean, the Four of Pentacles is clarifying the Two of Swords so far, but with this Taurus, I feel like what is pulling you out of this, this denial, this Two of Swords energy is the fact that you have been holding on to some, uh, uh, Spirit is saying, preserving some sense of balance or foundation in your life. But at this point, now you're starting to feel, feel the FOMO and that's starting to pull you out of this. Anything else for the Two of Swords? Yeah, the Five of Cups. Miss, there it is, right? Yes, okay. All right, so this is, what's, this is what's been happening. All right, you're being pulled out of this energy and you're being pulled out of it because, you're, you're, because of the FOMO here, okay? You've been holding on, preserving. I'm not, spirit keeps saying preserving. The word is preserving, okay? Uh, to be more specific, preserving something. You've been preserving, maybe you've been preserving, maybe you've been really like, uh, your chastity or you know you've been holding on to some sense of tradition or some sense of um, traditional form of presenting yourself or something like that I don't know take it as it resonates but it's creating loss for you or you're starting to realize how you are missing out or what you have actually missed out on and that's creating grief for you or at least has been creating grief for you I feel like this is a past energy Okay, so you have all these three cups here. The three of cups represents community. It represents celebration. It also could represent um, some sort of hive mind mentality. But for you in terms of this Taurus, this, the three cups here that have spilled out on this five of cups, are you recognizing what you have been missing out on all this time by keeping yourself preserved in this way? Okay, it, it, you may have been holding on to a sense of purity, right, uh, for... For, for some sake, but then also that holding on to that purity is detrimental to you because you're not out there having life experiences. And like I said earlier, you're seeing all your friends or all these people out here living their best lives, having all this all these great adventures and meeting new people and l linking up with these beautiful relationships. And here you are sitting out in the corner like, so when's mine going to come around? Well, yours isn't going to come around if you're not putting your out, you're putting yourself out there, right? So that's so the beauty of this five of cups here, Taurus, is that though you may have been in a situation where you are dealing with FOMO, fear of missing out, ultimately, and the grief surrounding that, ultimately, all is not lost because you still have a chance. You still have an opportunity to do it. You just got to you just got to get out there and do it. Overall energy is the page of wands. Look at this, Taurus, this is beautiful. This page of wands represents rediscovering your, discovering your power or 
Um, also, this page of wands could absolutely represent um, discovering a level of sexuality within yourself. It could re or could represent self-love in terms of <laughs> masturbation, okay? And like, not gonna lie. Um, uh, but uh, finding something new, transforming yourself, um, uh, a different way of communicating with the world or expressing yourself or showing up in the world. And uh, the beauty of this version of the Page of Wands is that this literally looks like a grown ass man. So what this says here is to me, at least as an intuitive reader, this says that this change in alignment, this, cha this element of rediscovering yourself or discovering new aspects of yourself can happen for you at any time in your life, okay? This is beautiful, Taurus. You're really being encouraged to get out there, all right? Um, let's, okay, Two of Pentacles is next. Let's clarify this Two of Pentacles because I feel like you're in a point right now, Taurus, where you're starting to weigh the options. Do I, don't I? Do I, don't I? Do I, don't I? I'm going to say do it, but let's see. Two of Pentacles for Taurus, please. For my Taurus single, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, there's that Two of Cups. That's still standing up right behind you in this Five of Cups here. Taurus, I really do feel like um, there actually may be a person, a connection that you have with someone that is pulling you, that is literally either trying to get you out of your comfort zone, trying to get you out of the house, or you just feel this energetic connection with this person that is causing you to be like, oh no, what am I actually missing out on? It's actually causing you to weigh the options here. For others of you, this Two of Cups energy is literally just you wanting to experience a loving, romantic, sexual situation, sexual situation with someone, Ace of Wands though. But honestly, this is either another person that is literally starting to make you question whether or not you wanna stay in this preserved space, or it's just the fact that you wanna experience a loving relationship with someone, or you wanna be in a relationship with someone. You wanna get out there and meet someone, okay? You're feeling inspired to do this at this time. And Taurus, you are encouraged to do it. Final card you have here is the magician. Um, what I wanna say about this magician energy here, Taurus, is you have the power. If you are feeling inspired to do it, then you have the power to manifest it. But in order for you to manifest it, you have got to stop waffling back and forth. You have got to stop questioning the situation. You have got to let go of that pentacle of the past and take up this inspiration and get yourself out there. The magician is an individual or, uh, yes, is an individual that has all of the tools that he needs at his disposal to manifest what it is that he wants. But this manifestational power doesn't mean anything, Taurus, if you don't take action. That's the message there. You have got to take action. Overall energy here is the Seven of Swords. That's interesting. Ooh, but the Seven of Swords, underneath the Seven of Swords is the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands, and then back to the Eight of Swords, which, oh, and then back to the High Priestess. Now, when I was looking at the High Priestess over uh, er, earlier in the reading as the overall energy, the Eight of Swords was underneath that, okay? So there is a level of deception here. I feel like that's part of what you're, you're questioning, what you're going back and forth on. The deception here is in terms of your past reality, maybe some of the religious situations that you were a part of, or just a lack of belief in yourself that you could actually manifest or find love um, for whatever reason, okay? Some sort of uh, social conditioning or some sort of past experiences that conditioned you to feel or believe that you weren't capable of manifesting love or whatnot, whatever. You are capable of it okay this is an illusion because right behind the seven of swords right behind the fear and the doubt i'm hearing is that offer is that victory but you're going to have to allow yourself out of this mental prison and trust your intuition trust your spiritual guidance trust how the universe is influencing you pushing you to step out of this comfort zone okay i'm being guided to go back to the world let's clarify the world for taurus please King of Pentacles reversed and the sun too sedentary. All right. Excuse me, guys. Um, and then we have, ah, look at this. Look at this. You're over, you're, I'm sorry, clarifying the world here, clarifying this change in the circumstances, clarifying this um, 
end of a cycle and uh, with that closing or end of a cycle, you being able to step into the next one, you have a big realization here. You have the King of Pentacles in reverse, which is you, Taurus, with the Sun and the King of Swords. You are recognizing, you are realizing that you have been set too sedentary, okay? You have been too stuck in your comfort zone. You have been too grounded even, all right? And what's helping you, oh, and then overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the hanged man, okay? A change in perspective. You have been stuck in this position, Taurus, for far too long. Actually, I don't want to say that. I mean, it could be that. It could very well be that you are so fed up with being in the same old situation, dealing with the same old things over and over again, that you are now reaching the clarity, the sun and the king of swords and the objective thinking to say, well, if I want something different, I'm going to have to try something different. It's very practical of you, right? But I don't want to say you've been stuck here for way too long. I feel like because I, I, I just feel like it's, it's as long as it needed to be. It's as long, it, you have been in this state for as long as you needed to be to reach the realization and then finally have the tower moment or finally make the sudden change or have the sudden change within you to finally move forward and rediscover yourself or change this, change your alignment, change the way you show up in the world because it's time to do so. Judgment, okay? What is facilitating or what is allowing you to end this old cycle at, and I'm hearing that old cycle is your comfort zone or a level of a comfort zone and to step out into the new, to explore new horizons is you desiring to be out of this sedentary state, King of Pentacles reversed. You having the, the sun, the sun here is the realization, the awareness um, also the blessings. Okay. This is a beautiful thing. This is a huge blessing for you. This is a great, this is a beautiful thing. Uh, the sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, but what has been your blessing here is realizing king of swords from an objective point of view that if you, again, if you want it, if you want something new, you're going to have to try something new. And that's excellent Taurus. Finally, let's clarify the nine of cups for you. What's the nine of cups for Taurus, please? The Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Okay, anything else for the Nine of Cups here? <laughs> Bam, let's take it. Okay, the Ace of Swords, and then overall energy, we're back to the Seven of Swords. This, The Nine of Cups represents two, is, it represents two things for you. First and foremost, it represents your comfort zone, that, that, that sedentary energy that you were in. It also represents what it is you truly want, what it is you truly wish and dream of. And the Nine of Cups here is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Eight of, Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords, overall energy of the Seven of Swords. So eventually it became apparent to you, Ace of Swords, that this comfort zone you were in was deceptive, at least at this point. It may not have always been that way, but you have gone through, I, we don't have death here, which would represent a transformation, but I do feel like you've gone through a healing period recently that has allowed you to accept a new form of reality. And it has allowed you to accept that if you want to be happy, if you want to have the things that would truly make you happy, then you're going to have to get up knight of wands and walk away from the past period get up and do it go after it if you want it pursue it if you want to be happier if you want to change what this comfort zone looks like that's interesting if you want to expand this comfort zone i mean taurus you're all about comfort you're all about the simple pleasures of life you're all about like Things like good food, good drink, you know, a nice comfy bed, a comfortable clothes, great um, uh, uh, relationships. Nothing crazy, the simple things, but 
at this point, if you want to expand that comfort zone, there's nothing wrong with having a comfort zone. The danger with it is that we can just get stuck in there. We can become sedentary in there and we can uh, it, it influence it influences to not want to try new things because we don't want our comfort zone to change. But I feel like for you at this point, if you want to or what you're realizing here is that if you want to expand your comfort zone, if you want to have a loving partner to add to this comfort zone, then you're going to have to get up and pursue it and walk away from all of the things that have held you back from it. Okay. For some of you, I feel like you are, you have been in this eight of cups energy, but now you have decided that you want to expand your horizons. You want to add a new cup there. Well, if you're going to do that, then you're going to have to take some action towards how it is you're inspired or towards your inspiration. Beautiful Taurus. So you are really being encouraged to get out there and flirt. Okay, do it. It's high time for you to experience some love. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you guys so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Taurus, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>